everybody, it's Miss Nancy. Well, I haven't seen you guys for so long, I really miss you. But at least we can communicate this way. Okay, here is a new month song. It's still October till tomorrow, but the next day is going to be a new month called November. Can you all say that? November? And we have a new November song. Listen. Oh, the days are growing short. Oh, the days are growing short. Oh, the days are growing short. Now that it's November, let's celebrate the harvest time. Let's celebrate the harvest time. Let's celebrate the harvest time. Now that it's November, we'll share a fine Thanksgiving feast. We'll have a fine Thanksgiving feast. We'll have a fine Thanksgiving feast. The last Thursday of November. Yeah, big holiday coming up. Thanksgiving. When we usually have turkey and pumpkin pies and yummy, yummy stuff. So the story today is called In November. In November, the earth is growing quiet. It's making its bed, a winter bed for flowers and for little animals. The bed is white and quiet and much life can hide beneath its white blankets. In November, the trees are standing all sticks and bones without their leaves. How lovely they are spreading and their arms look like dancers. They know it's time to be still. In November, some birds move away and some birds stay. The air is full of goodbyes and well wishes. The birds who are leaving look very serious. No silly spring chirping now. They have long journeys ahead and they must watch where they are going. These birds are leaving. Yeah, these are ducks and geese and these birds are staying. They look like chickadees. The staying birds are serious too because cold weather is ahead. Hard times. All berries will be like treasures because they eat them. In November, animals sleep more. The air is chilly and they shiver. Kitty cats pile up in the corners of barns. Look at all these kitties laying on top of each other to stay warm. Mice pile up under logs and bees pile up deep in the holes in the ground. Look at these little bees down here staying warm in the ground. And dogs love to lie beside the fire and stay warm. In November, the smell of food is different. It has an orange smell, a squash and a pumpkin smell. It tastes like cinnamon and can fill up a house in the morning, can pull everyone from bed in a fog. Food is better in November than any other time of the year. In November, people are good to each other. They carry pies to each other's homes and they talk by crackling wood stoves and they drink mellow cider. Yum, yum. Look at this nice family all together here. Grandmas and grandpas and daddies and mothers and brothers and sisters and babies. And here's the dog. 
They travel very far on a special November day just to share a meal with one another and to give thanks for their many blessings, for the food on their tables and for the babies in their arms. And then they travel back home. Here they go, they're getting all dressed in their nice warm coats and hats. They're hugging each other goodbye. In November, at Winter's Gate, the stars are brittle. The sun is a sometime friend, and the world has tucked her children in with a kiss on their heads till spring. We love November. One more time with our song. Oh, the days are growing short. Oh, the days are growing short. Oh, the days are growing short. Now that it's November, let's celebrate the harvest time. Let's celebrate the harvest time. Let's celebrate the harvest time. Now that it's November, we'll share a fine Thanksgiving feast. We'll have a fine Thanksgiving feast. We'll have a fine Thanksgiving feast the last Thursday of November. Boy, it sure was good to see you all. I miss you and happy November. I'll be seeing you again with thanks some Thanksgiving stories. Bye now.